Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about inverters. So what is an inverter? Inverter is a, uh, a device that converts DC into AC or direct current into alternating current or direct voltage into alternating voltage. These terms are worth remembering so keep that in mind. So there are two types of inverters. First one is the expensive type and so-called uh, sine wave inverter pure sine wave inverter so basically it outputs a sine wave this is not very well drawn but just for the sake of the video and to help you understand uh, this is a sine wave and the sine wave is very important because the CD power is a sine wave and the inverters the cheap inverters usually output a modified square wave which I'm gonna show you in a bit so basically what they do is they uh, divide this uh, small area into small patches and then uh, use PWM technique to achieve this pure sine wave uh, similarly in this half of the cycle so uh, this is how it is done uh, I tried to simplify it as much as I could so this is how it is done so this is actually the cheap type uh, this also works for uh, uh, most of the applications but uh, you might have noticed that when you plug in your device into a, a normal inverter normal inverter I'm referring to the cheap type of inverters uh, you might uh, hear an, a humming noise that could be quite annoying uh, but it is because of this wave uh, it's because of the sharp edges of this wave you could see the peak and then some dead time and then another peak but of course uh, this is changing in time and I'm gonna demonstrate uh, an inverter I do also have a cheap inverter so I'm gonna demonstrate how it works so yeah this is the inverter that I have for 1500 watt and I'm gonna test it for you and uh, demonstrate uh, and power up some things so yeah Basically the difference between an inverter and UPS is that an inverter only gives you output and doesn't charge the battery. What the UPS does is that it uh, also charges the battery and uh, gives you uh, output as well. So I've wired up this inverter with my battery that I made from 18650 cells. It's basically 3S 10P pack so 30 cells uh, in this pack but it should work for our purpose uh, better not to short anything uh, and make sure not to reverse the polarity basically in these inverters the reverse polarity protection is uh, terrible they just uh, put one diode like uh, for protection like uh, they put parallel diode and if whenever you connect uh, the battery backwards uh, it starts conducting and it just blows up the fuse but uh, it doesn't protect the inverter circuit so that with that out of the way I'm gonna demonstrate the inverters working and I'm gonna show you the working if in case you're curious how it works so First of all, I'm gonna uh, connect my laptop laptop's charger. I'm just gonna put it here so you know it's there. And I'm gonna plug it in. So this is my laptop. And whenever I turn on the inverter, it's turned on. And here you can see the charging LED of my laptop it's charging and it's working perfectly fine the battery although it's not uh, designed for this purpose like for this inverter this inverter is basically for uh, lead acid battery so yeah and you can see it's charging pretty okay and it's working well without any problem now I'm gonna connect my uh, power bank 
um, normal phone charger and basically you uh, only want to connect uh, these things because this is only for emergencies so you want to connect your router your laptop or your smartphone and you could uh, connect uh, your car battery or any other 12 volt source uh, to these inverters in case of emergencies and you can connect pretty much anything just uh, the things that are very sensitive uh, should not be connected although they might not blow up but still I, I'd recommend not to use any sensitive uh, electronics on this one the phone chargers are pretty okay with that so I'm gonna plug in my power bank using my phone charger I could also plug in my phone but it's out of my reach right now but this should uh, demonstrate well for you so I'm gonna plug like I'm gonna turn off the inverter now I'm gonna plug in my phone charger like this it's plugged in uh, for you to be so sure I'm gonna plug in this USB tester that I demonstrated in an old video uh, this should be good enough so you can see it's powered on and it's on fast charging mode and this is plugged in so when I turn it on uh, uh, I'm gonna do it like this now I powered it on and you could see there are some values I cannot see as well uh, I think I just gonna do is I don't want to short it it's at 9 volts and 1.1 amps maybe because the power bank is nearly full so yeah that should be for this uh, demonstration so yeah and anyways i hope you like this video if so then like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell and i'll guess i'll see you in the next one peace